and you promise an impact and, you, and you're an organisation which is very small, where actually you have to co-opt um, or leverage the rest uh, of the mainstream press. Um, so under our model of, of how you make an impact and how you get people to do things that wouldn't have been otherwise able to do, the only way to can easily make an impact um, is push information about the world uh, to many, many people across the world. And so the mainstream press uh, has developed expertise in how to do that. We entered into relationships with now over 80 um, media organisations across the world, including some very good ones, to increase the impact and translate and, and push our material uh, into now over 50 different countries uh, endemically. And that, that has been, yes, um, subverting the filters of the mainstream press, but an interesting phenomena has developed amongst the journalists who work in this very large organisation, which is the journalists having read our material and having been forced to go through it <coughs> to pull out stories, uh, have themselves become educated and radicalised. And that is an ideological penetration of the truth into all these mainstream media organisations. And that, to some degree, may be one of the lasting legacies uh, over the past year. Even um, Fox News, which is much more parish, is an organisation that wants viewers. You cannot do anything else without viewers. So it will try and push news content. So, for example, with collateral murder, CNN showed only the first few seconds and they blanked out uh, all the bullets going on the screen. Fox actually displayed um, the first killing scene in full. Quite interesting. So Fox actually gave people more of the truth than CNN did. Um, and so Fox also motivated to grab in a hungry way greater audience share as possible took this content and gave it to more people. Now afterwards, of course, they put in their commentators uh, to, talk, to talk against it. But I think the truth that we got out of Fox um, is often stronger than the truth that we got out of CNN. And similarly, for many institutions in the media that we think of as liberal. I mean, what you said now is extremely important. With all the respect I have for, and I don't mean this in any way ironically, honest liberals who really believe people should be informed and so on. But there are limits in their very mode how they function, so we should ruthlessly, not in an unethical way, but nonetheless ruthlessly use, as you pointed out in this difference between CNN and Fox, every, every window of opportunity here. And let me add another example from a totally different domain, but from uh, fiction, cinema, TV series, all this uh, for, to raise our spirit, left liberal pseudo-Hollywood Marxism thrillers like Pelican's Brief, uh, All the President's Men, which may appear very critical, you know, like, oh my God, uh, the president himself is corrupted, connected to a certain uh, corporation and so on. But nonetheless, this is ideology. Why? Because why? Do you exit the movie theater in such high spirits after seeing, I don't know, all the and so on? Because the message is nonetheless, look what a great country we are. An ordinary guy can topple the mightiest man in the world and so on and so on. On the other hand, let me take uh, an equivalent in TV program of Fox News, which would have been, please don't take me for being crazy, uh, 24. Yeah, yeah, Jack Bauer and all that. The last season of 24, I watched it with pleasure, is for me, my God, again, as you approach it the way you approach those shots, it's for me much more consequential in criticism. You get Jack Bauer, who is in total despair, his whole world crumbles down, he has to admit this way, what he tried to do in previous seasons of playing this role of somebody should do the dirty job, torture the prisoners, I will do it. He says, no, I cannot live with it, it has to come public. His liberal counterpart, 
called Alison Taylor, the president, also steps down, you know what's the true message of it? The message is simply within the existing ethico-political coordinates. You are just stuck into a deadlock, there is no way. It's a very pessimistic message, much more honest than on that, all that uplifting Hollywood Marxism, what a great country we are, and so on and so on. So yes, at all levels, even not only at, at, in journalism as such, I agree with you, and I would even say that all leftist tradition knows this. For example, already Marx said that we can often learn more from honest conservatives than from liberals, because what honest conservatives do is that they don't try to sell you at the end some uplifting bullshit. They are ready to confront a deadlock, and that's what's important.